Hi, I'm so glad that you made it here. Well done and welcome, welcome. So this is going to be a collection of videos to create a toolbox for you. In this first video, I'm going to introduce the idea of a mirror and also how to recognize energy draining situations. Energy drainers and negative energy make you feel frustrated, exhausted, confused, angry, guilty, um, taking on too much responsibility for something. Now I know there's a lot of information on the internet that you could look up about energy drainers, but I want to here introduce you to the concept of a mirror. Do you remember in the other video I was in the introductory video I was talking about my ex-boyfriend who um, would come in and visit me with a whole lot of guilt guilt he was carrying that guilt it was permeating throughout the whole room he was full of it and as a, a sensitive person I would pick up on it but I was picking up on it as mine as I was feeling guilty as I had done something wrong but so there you can see the concept of the mirror the reflection that he was creating for me was guilt he was giving me the projection of guilt and I was taking on that projection not knowing how to protect myself not knowing with knowledge and wisdom what it was um, that was coming towards me now do you believe that he knew that he was projecting that image of guilt onto me no the poor sucker had no idea he just felt guilty he felt guilty for cheating he felt guilty for the way he had to lie to me he had to cover things up he was living a double life he was frustrated about it all of that was projected onto our relationship and the reason that he was projecting all of that was really working on a very subconscious level but there you have the mirror where things are reflected to us and we absorb them. We look at them and we reflect on them as ours. So I have a kind of a different spin on energy draining. Um, because if you think about it, I'm going to use the, the situation so to help you understand and you can apply it to your life. Um, with my ex-boyfriend because he felt so guilty it was huge the feeling of guilt was so huge that he had to unload it somewhere because he wasn't taking responsibility for how he was feeling he wasn't taking responsibility for what he did he didn't know how to do that he had no idea how to take responsibility so on a subconscious level he was letting it all out because he couldn't handle the pain of his guilt he couldn't carry that on his own so I was the the, the close uh, close to him at the time and we had quite an intimate relationship so I would take it on so he was unloading so it wasn't as if he was draining me it was that he was um, getting rid of the excess feeling the excess guilt that he had and if you think of a drain if you look up the word drain it's actually an access point where something is expelled so there's the draining energy of what was happening in their relationship now had he taken responsibility for his guilt we probably would have been together but um, it wouldn't have flowed on to me and I wouldn't have been carrying that guilt so with this awareness comes knowledge the understanding of knowing why you're feeling a certain way and you have that knowledge now from the story I told you can relate that to a feeling that you had you can do this with anger you can do this with loneliness you can do this with self-pity or you can do it with guilt start in a story that's very heightened or a relationship that's very heightened for you where you start to trigger each other and have a look at that and check in with yourself to see what part you can start to take responsibility for and what part is just sort of coming in at you and that's most likely the other person's part that they're not taking responsibility for 
Now isn't that a powerful tool? Rather than walking around not knowing why you feel guilty, why you feel angry, why you, you're, you're uh, possibly even projecting some of your own feeling onto somebody else or somebody is unloading their feeling onto you. Isn't it much more powerful to have the awareness of what is happening? Now that is the first layer of protection that I want to give you is to load you and arm you with that knowledge because knowing that is very 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 powerful and not many people can do that. Now please listen because these things that I'm teaching you and talking about is in no way about blame. I want to make that absolutely crystal, crystal clear that this is not about blaming the other person because you can think of probably, and I know that I've been guilty of it too, think of a situation where you have had to deal with some pain, some suffering, an overwhelming feeling or emotion that is difficult to cope with and we react in a certain way. Some of us react with anger or some of us go into hibernation and, and get really sad um, and, and lock ourselves away from, from the world. So it's possible for us to be the energy drainer. But um, this lesson is not about putting blame either on somebody else doing those things to you or you doing them to somebody else. Blame does not come into it when you start to just look at the situation subjectively, looking at it in terms of energies. What is the energy coming in and what is the energy that you, you may be putting out or somebody else may be putting out. Let's look at it in terms of an exchange of energy rather than a blaming game because we all know where that goes. So. Please remember that this is all happening on a subconscious level and what I'm doing here in this lesson is the next layer is bringing it to your conscious level so that when you uh, start to look at relationships after watching this video you might start to notice the little tweaks, the subtleties, the, the energies flowing, the negativity coming at you, the negativity you put out, all of those subtle things. Really really important, I'm going to stress again, is not to put blame on yourself for doing that because it has been happening on a subconscious level and if anything needs to change then we need to bring that up slowly um, to bring it to your conscious awareness which is what is happening for you now. Now. So, are you ready for the third layer of protection? When you're feeling these things flying at you, these things, I mean energy, negative energy flying at you, coming in your direction, from now on you can have another tool that you can use. Um, understand that this is happening to somebody on a subconscious level, so you can, s please don't say to them, you're projecting your energy onto me. I can feel your mirror. That's your stuff, not mine. Because the other person might not be ready to hear this lesson like, like you are. They might not be at that psychic level of awareness to receive this teaching. When the student is ready, the teacher will come. So that's the way it happened for me and that's most likely the way it's going to happen for you when you're ready for the lesson. And that's also the way it's going to happen for the other person on the other side of, of the relationship uh, uh, dynamics that you may be thinking about that's happening in your life. So I would suggest that you not um, confront the person about this subconscious level stuff because they're probably not ready or they just go, you're crazy. <laughs> so um, think of it in, in terms of what you can process with your awareness in your personal development that will help them. And now I'm going to give you the fourth one, the fourth protection tool. Uh, actually, no, it's the third one. What I want you to do is when that person's firing all the negativity, so like if that was um, that guilt coming to you in the story of my, my boyfriend, what if that happened to me again, for example, what I could do now is have a look um, with my new awareness and say, how painful is it for him? to feel so guilty about something. I can feel his guilt and I don't know why he's feeling guilty because I didn't know he was having affairs and stuff. I don't know why he was feeling guilty but what you can do is say that this is um, this is not 
my guilt. I don't feel guilty about anything. I'm giving you my example. I don't feel guilty about anything, so I'm going to send him warmth. Um, because it's painful. He's in pain and he's throwing it out there at you because he can't handle it. But we don't have to take it on, whether you're man or woman, doesn't matter. But the other person's pain is not our responsibility. We've got our own stuff, our own pain to deal with. And it's not our responsibility to take care of them, nor is it our responsibility to try and change them. So what we can do is just within your heart, with your warmth, um, is to give them compassion and understanding that it is difficult to be in pain and that you understand what it's like to be in pain because you feel it as well. Your guilt is the same as somebody else's guilt. Oops, sorry, I just moved the camera. Your anger is the same as my anger. It may be triggered by different things, but that energy, that's what I'm talking about in this video, that energy is the same. Your sadness is the same as mine. Your happiness is the same as mine in terms of energy. So you can feel your own, whatever is coming at you, if it's anger or something, someone projecting anger onto you, you can feel what it's like to be angry. I know what it's like to be angry. And send them warmth from your heart, send them love, send them healing, send them compassion from understanding. Now don't expect this to happen instantly. I've given you huge chunks here of protective energy levels. Um, so make sure that you stay hydrated because there'll be a lot of things churning and happening and emotions moving through your body and stuff. So make sure you stay hydrated. Make sure that you comment below if anything that you're going through because I'm here for you. And um, let me know how things are going. And no giving yourself a hard time for um, judging or, or projecting, okay? Because <laughs> it is a process. The first step is what you took today. The first step is awareness. Um, understanding that it is happening. Bringing that into your conscious level. Realizing that there is no room for blame, that this is just the energy of that emotion. The energy of guilt, the energy of anger, the energy of sadness, all of those things. It's just the energy at play. Um, and then also to be able to give somebody else the warmth and when you're doing that warmth giving yourself the warmth from your heart what you actually can be doing is creating an aura or an area around you of warmth and love and compassion and that usually protects you from any negativity coming in as well so that's a nice simple way of doing it for today there are of course other layers that we can add to this along the way but just for today I want to give you that to be able to digest enough information to start to become aware of those relationships. Well, we've come to the end of the first lesson. I hope that you enjoyed the first lesson and you got a lot out of the negativity and the projections and the mirrors that we were talking about in today's lesson. Now, tomorrow I'm gonna to send you the next lesson where you, we're gonna talk about sensitivity, being a sensitive person and how to work through with other people's stuff in more detail. All right, until then, I'll see you then. Bye.